and welcome back to moving day well, moving vlog part two um i am down in the basement with madison today she's still wearing a sling her arm is still hurting she does have a doctor's appointment because it is just not getting any better so it was just really bad timing <laughs> but we um are gonna be in this vlog in the last vlog if you didn't see part one i'll link it above we did a bunch of shopping and moved stuff but it wasn't like the big furniture and stuff so in this vlog we'll be painting some furniture DIYing painting lots of things then moving like the big furniture over and then hopefully being done getting done in this video so it'll be today and tomorrow today we're going to be painting putting together some um, fixing the chairs and table that she got and then moving this big couch over and then the my old kitchen island she's gonna paint that and use that in her new kitchen also we've got some bigger furniture over there her dressers right here all that stuff has to be moved and we're gonna move it tomorrow because today's gonna be painting we're gonna let it dry overnight and she has to work tomorrow till like three and so in the afternoon evening is when we will bring everything over and then I mentioned in my other vlog but after this vlog not in this vlog but down the road whenever everything is set up and fixed like she wants it then I'll do like an apartment tour for you guys but if you didn't see the first movie vlog which you probably did um, but I did show you the apartment and everything so anyway we are gonna get started I'll show you what my chairs used to look like she's using my old chairs you probably remember but i'll show you everything that we're going to be painting today and diying so these are the old chairs that we had upstairs so, so she's got new fabric to replace this and see she already took this one off and then she's going to paint these she's got some really pretty colors she picked out and she's gonna i'm not really sure what is happening with this she took the knobs off but this needs to be painted um this is like an old tv cabinet we may just donate that and then she's gonna be taking this to the new place. She got these new pretty um, knobs. There's two more chairs. There's still stuff all in here. I have to put everything back. We haven't had a chance to do all that yet, but um, this is going to the new, I guess all this is going to the new house. This is not, and this is not, um, this was her roommates. She doesn't want them, so I haven't decided what, I might sell them or I might keep that. I'd like a new, I'd like a matching one of those to have new nightstands for Marion and I, but we'll see. So the lighting is not the best in here, but here's the old, my old kitchen island that's just been sitting in the basement. Definitely needs to be cleaned, but we have a drawer and a um, door there, so that's good for more storage. And then they'll also have these. It has some little um, hooks for towels and then a little spice rack over here. So this will be nice in their new kitchen. So she, I'm not exactly sure what color she's painting this. Okay, so this is the paint that, sorry the lighting's bad down here. It's the Valspar Ultra in eggshell finish. And this is what it looks like. I'll tell you the color in a second, but this is what the table and chairs, no, this is what the table is gonna be. The color is sun-dried terra. So I guess like terracotta. This is the table. She did find this on uh, Facebook Marketplace and she sanded it down. It was all, I actually had this piece of fake wood glued to the top and she pulled that off and scraped all the, the glue and sanded it and the paint. And this is everything that came off, but she's gonna paint this the terracotta color. Okay, I had to run to Walmart and pick up some black paint. We ate lunch and Madison has painted the table. I am in my lovely painting clothes. I'm gonna look super, super nice this whole vlog. Um, I'll show you what the table looks like. It's kind of dark going down. Um, but she decided she wants to paint the island black. So, wow, let me adjust the light. There we go. Um, so, I got black for that. The chairs are all out here. She's put down like the plastic. So those are gonna be like a lighter shade of the terracotta, but I'll show you what the table looks like real quick. There's that, it's gonna need a second coat and then it's gonna need poly on top, but for now it looks really pretty. So this is gonna be the color of the chairs. I think it's kind of hard to tell, but it's like a light peachy color. And then where's that fabric for your chairs? And then she bought this fabric at Hobby Lobby and that's gonna be on the chairs instead of the black and white. Actually, they're right here. Instead of this, she's just going to cover them with that. It's going to be beautiful. As a young girl, if 
fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Back all the way back to them days Running around in a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer Okay, we are done. We got those done. Marion's going to screw those onto the chairs. And then um, Mar Madison did the second coating of, on this. Looks really great. I did the table and we've got those drying. So, 
And then Madison did three coats of poly on that. It looks so good. So it is the next day. It is Saturday. We are getting ready to go to... Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy. Getting ready to go to soccer. Just a second. And we kind of have a busy day. Do you need help with those? No. We're going to go to Jackson soccer game. Then we're going to probably grab some lunch. And then... Madison is working. She gets off around, she'll, she'll be home around three. She was gonna see if some of her friends could come help move, but, oh, did you take this out? But uh, we have to see, I don't know if she got in touch with them or not. And then we're gonna move the rest of the stuff. She did order a bunch of stuff. We have, like, I think that's an entry table. And then she ordered some stuff there. She ordered a rug to go under her little table. Bunch of stuff, I don't think it's all come, but. Anyway, we're going to soccer now, and then I'll catch you back up with you. Well, that was a good game. They were very equally matched. I thought that was great. One to one. But we're eating lunch now. Mom is with us. We're going to have some Mexican food. Okay, we got everything loaded up. Got all the furniture. A couple of Madison's friends came back. God bless them. Helped us load up the last of the furniture. Fit perfectly in one load and then I have the chairs. I'll show you. Then I have the chairs and coffee table and stuff in here and all the tools. And we're gonna make our last and final load and we have to do like putting the chairs together, hanging the curtains, things like that. But Madison told Ollie, they're looking at me. She told him goodbye and hugged him and cried. But even though she's been out for a few days, I think it feels more final now. Anyway, we're gonna go over there and unload. And I don't know what the temperature is now, but it's definitely warmer than it was this morning. But we went to, um, Jackson soccer game and then we went to lunch and then we helped my mom got some groceries for her and Elena called me and her car broke down like 30 minutes from here so we may have to go pick her up this evening or I don't know we gotta figure out what's wrong with her car possibly get it towed and all that but you know it's just always gonna be something <laughs> it's just a busy busy time so but it is 3.51, we're gonna go unload now, and then Michael and Danielle should be back from their anniversary trip this afternoon when we're done, so we'll drop his truck to him, and just gonna keep going. So when we get there, you gonna ride with me? Where are those tools? Oh, I put them in my car. In the car. They're back here. Yeah, they're back here. So, um, Madison doesn't want her friends to know I have a YouTube channel, so I have to keep it on the down low, but I'm gonna try to, you know, film. They won't, they won't know, they won't care. These are so cute. They look really cute. And this is a jute rug she bought. Marion is putting the seats on. These are some pantry pantry bins. And this is the pantry that we put together the other night. They put some stuff in it, so we're not gonna anchor it to the wall, but they got some new new um, handles, those will be really pretty on that. It'll match with the black on the island. And then I'm gonna use this to make a curtain for over the kitchen window. I didn't see these labels. How cute are these gonna be? She got these on Amazon. Thank you. 
Well, that is it. She is moved out officially. It's just an empty room now. And that's when it hits me when I come down here into this empty room and she's not here. I'll admit I had a moment <laughs> when I got really sad. But this is real life. A lot of you who watch my channel are moms and grandmas and you've been down this road and I've been down it a couple times already, but it just doesn't get easier. It doesn't get easier, but, but you always your dream for your kids is that they're going to grow up and they're going to know the Lord. They're going to love the Lord. They're going to live for the Lord. They're going to have an awesome, amazing adventure and do what they love and be happy and well-rounded and good people. And Madison is one of the best. I mean, she's amazing and I'm so incredibly proud of her. So proud of her. She's a lot like me, but she's so much more. She's got so much more confidence and you know, I admire that about her and I just am, it's so bittersweet, it's so bittersweet. I said before, like I'm sad, but I'm just mostly happy and tonight I'm just feeling more sad, but it's just thinking back, you know, all the memories, just all the memories. I remember a year ago we were building this room, she was so excited and I have to remember that like the good times are not over, the good times are still going to be, it's just going to be a different chapter, different phase. And I'm excited for that, you know, watching my children go from children to adults and now being friends with them. It's like, you know, I know Ollie, I'm coming. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. And it's all what I ever always dreamed it would be with my girls when they grew up. And so I've come to the end of this vlog. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with us. I feel like I know today was a little crazy trying to get everything moved in and then all her friends were coming over tonight. They had all come over. Well, they were almost, there was still more coming when we left. I was trying to like sneak a few shots here and there, but they were amazing helping us unload and putting things together and just being really great friends. She's chosen wisely, chosen her friends wisely. And she's an adult, so she doesn't live far away. We can visit. In fact, I'm going back over there on Monday and I'm going to visit her. And we're going to do a few more things that we need to get done, but she'll always be my baby and... She always will know that this is home and this is, I hope my kids always know they come back in. They can, they all have house keys. They can come anytime they want. <laughs> they can raid my refrigerator. They can do whatever they need. This is home. And I know that my kids know that. And so we all close the chapter of her living here, but we're going to open up a new chapter and I'm excited, but it was definitely an emotional road for me. It hit me more than I thought just coming down into this empty room, but on to the next chapter excuse me <laughs> anyway I, on my next video that you watch will I will have a little announcement in there that'll be a fun announcement I hope I hope that um, y'all will like it so be looking for that okay give this video a thumbs up if you liked this if you enjoyed this crazy chaotic moving blog that was just kind of bits and pieces put together <laughs> but such is life I wanted to vlog a whole lot more just couldn't pull out my camera and keep it out because she wants me to be discreet with her friends and not let them know I have a YouTube channel. So I was trying to respect that. But anyway, thank you all so much. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.